Hey, what's up my Koopa Troop? It's Koops. Welcome back to some more Plants vs. Zombies 2. To earn this star, the second star on day 8, Pirate Seas, never have more than 14 plants and defeat 10 zombies in 15 seconds. Alright, so never having more than 14 plants is a bit of a challenge. However, I like these ones a little bit more as I can plant my plants and then dig them up and that doesn't count as like, it's not lose plants, you just can't have more than 14. So essentially if I can get up my plants that I want, I can build up my army of plants or whatever and do damage that way. So I do enjoy these ones, they're a little bit more fun to me, but they are still just as challenging. So you gotta be real careful with them. And I don't need bomb trail, I'll do it with that one instead. Alright, let's go with that. Alright, so the strategy here will be spring beating the start, try and get up my sun count right away with my twin sunflowers. Uh, plant food them if need be, and then I will be adding repeaters instead. So, it'll be a bit challenging, but that's how I'm going to go with it. That's how I'm going to str strategize it. Strategize it. Now, in the last episode, guys, I did manage to lose. I couldn't uh, I couldn't defeat that one, you know, like the one zombie got through. How trollish of him. However, uh, right after that episode, I went ahead and took some time and just beat it. Once again, so don't worry, I did the exact same strategy, I just did a little bit smarter. In fact, I had, I went down to zero sun again. However, I did, you know, I did have plenty of extra plant food. I had three extra plant food by the end of the game. So, it was a good strategy, I just maybe mishandled it when you guys saw it in the last episode. If you wanted to try and beat that one, I would still recommend my strategy, just follow it a little bit better than how I did it. Now this guy right here... Uh, my guy is not even halfway respawned yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that. By freezing that guy, I'm allowing my respawn time to get another half or another third of it done, essentially. So it'll be back up in time as well. I'm adding a bunch of twin sunflowers right here to try and uh, get a lot of sun, and then I'll dig these things up and add instead more firepower. But for now. These guys can handle killing all those zombies, and while they're killing zombies, I am just gathering sun. That's the whole point. I will be grabbing some... I'm not really sure what layout I want to use. I could just go straight repeaters, which is probably what I will do. Or I could try other things. I think I will go straight repeaters for now, though. And start adding them to the top lane here. I could go ahead and otherwise and use some kind of combination of a lot of butter. That would work as well. But you can use as many, you can only use a max of 14 plants, but I can use as much expensive plants as I want. So I'll be doing these as these kill zombies fairly quickly. And in fact, I think kill quicker than the, the butter ones. Cause while the butter's an insta kill, to get lucky and get one of the butters is actually pretty random. And in my, in my cases, I've just found I've lost trying to rely on butter to win it for me. One of these guys needs to be frozen so the other guy can get past. However, I still need to add repeaters there. There's a lot. This is a tough one. Now, in the middle lanes here, spike weeds is actually probably a better strategy, and I might go that route. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to... Uh, this timing's still too far, uh, too close. That's not going to kill this guy in time, is it? Okay, good, it did. So, that's fine now. As long as it killed one of them. I just needed one of them to die. All right, so now I, can only have, I only have three plants left. At this point, I'm gonna start digging up plants in time. I gotta be, you know, I don't wanna go over. I can't throw a lot of spike weeds down. I could plant some. Those would be some, somewhat useful. I probably need more repeaters in the middle lane, so that's where I'm gonna start adding my guys. I do not need the sunflowers as much. However, I don't need to dig them up just yet. I can let them sit there for a second and hopefully produce me some more sun before they go out of the way. There's one more of these guys there. All right, now I'm out of. Now I have no more plants I can lay down. So I can't put down the ice one. I gotta be careful. I've made that mistake numerous times in the past. It is a free plant, but it still counts as a plant when I lay it down. So I gotta be real careful with that one. You can see that the strategy with the, these guys works out fairly well. Here's gonna be my problem as I've got this guy rolling in here. I can just do the smart plant, which is gonna be doing this right here, which will get rid of both those guys. So that's why I did that. Now, to make sure I'm safe, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of one of these plants. That means I have one plant left. I'm going to get rid of this one up here at the top, too. I'm going to add more firepower up there. I want to just start adding more firepower and get rid of my twin sunflowers. I don't need them as much anymore. I need firepower. I'm going to go ahead and add that right there to kill off that guy. Get rid of this guy down here. Add the firepower. Same thing. Just keep adding firepower. I'm full up on... 
on my plant food, which is the, and I've already completed the objective, so the only thing I can do right now is mess up and plant one of those things on accident. Now a guy will die in time. Now there's a bunch of guys coming in here, but you can see with all of my repeaters, there's not really a problem. And I'm gonna go add that there, get rid of that guy. I could have done it the other way, but that wouldn't have counted against that one guy flying in the air. That last one's gonna hit that one guy, nice. Did some damage to the barrel. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to there to make sure I kill off that barrel right away. Add this here to that guy. Add this here to this guy. Add it here to that guy. All right, and then just troll around there. Nice, all right. So we were able to win that one. We actually made it look fairly easy by the end of it, but as you guys can see, repeaters are the way to go. They are one of the best plants in the game. In fact, my favorite, uh, I think they're the best balance of how much sun they cost and how much damage they do. So, perfect. All right, now we're moving on to the next star after beating that one fairly easy. Easily, I should say. Do not let the zombies trample the flowers, don't plant Dave's mold colonies, and don't lose any lawnmowers, but we have no restrictions on what plants and how many plants, so that is the good news. However, we do not have a lot of room here. We have that line, and we have a lot of zombies coming in here, so this is actually a fairly difficult one. With lines like this, I tend to like to have, I think I'm gonna go, I'm not sure what they want me to do. Maybe I will maybe even try to get up a cannon actually this time around. Just for fun to do something a little bit different. Otherwise, I'm going to go with this. I'm not going to go the Bonk Choi route. That is a good route, though, and maybe worthwhile. Uh, yeah, probably worthwhile. Yeah, uh, but I don't have much room there. No, I'm going to I'm gonna not do the Bonk Choi. I'm going to just repeater it is my, is my new plan. Just repeater it. Does that, even, does that even make sense? I don't know if that makes sense, but I was at a bunch of repeaters. This one also is gonna be one of the ones where I can plant twin sunflowers, but I'm gonna have to get rid of them in exchange for uh, repeaters or uh, cannons, something else, just something else. They, they're not gonna work in the way there. All right, I would like to plant the spike weeds down. Uh, four of them does kill the cone head, so I will probably need that space there. I will go ahead and plant my this spring bean back a space is where I will plant him. I'm gonna add one of these because I froze that guy really early. I will have enough time to get definitely 50 sun out. The only downside to this way is that now my spring bean takes a little bit longer to start respawning. So you gotta be a little bit worried about that because the next zombie comes in relatively quickly and it's not even where close to spawning back in. However, the upside is that because I use the frozen one right away, I actually get this one up pretty quickly so I can go ahead and freeze this guy right away. And that'll allow my spring bean to spawn up in time. So that's the good news. I don't even worry about the sun. By this point in time, I'm producing enough sun, at least regularly enough to have that ready in time. That guy's gonna go down. I need to keep adding some of these guys. I need to start adding my repeater. But remember, I'm gonna be getting rid of these things for spike weeds and bonk. No, I, I got rid of bonk choy. Repeaters. So just spike weeds and a bunch of repeaters. I think maybe two repeaters to make sure these things die in time. But the repeater is the important part. In fact, I'm gonna add one of these right away so I make sure I'm defended at least in one lane. The repeater is more important than the spike weed, so that's what I'm gonna be adding first. But this, I mean, the spike weed's important too, don't get me wrong, but having two repeaters is more important. I need that right away. And that guy will die. Right, top lane. This doesn't, this won't necessarily kill them in time. That's what I'm saying. I need almost two repeaters to, I'm not even sure. I'm not sure if this will kill these zombies in time. It, remember, this will shoot a little bit of damage before they even land. The swinging zombies, that's the good news. But, you know, that's, that's about it. You know, otherwise they get in here pretty, Scott, you know, free, pretty free, I should say. I'm gonna add some more up there. I will have some problems in the middle lanes. I need to add either a repeater or the bomb. I'm gonna go for the repeater. I think that'd be more useful in the long run than the bomb anyways. The bomb really isn't that great. That is a last ditch fail attempt. You know, I mean, at 50 more sun, the repeater lasts for forever, and the bomb only kills a couple zombies right then and there. So it's not super good or anything like that, in my opinion. But, you know, it does work, I should say, but... All right, how fast does this thing kill this guy? The answer is not quick. Not quick at all, actually. So I am definitely gonna need a second one of them right away. I planted that spike weed. Now, maybe I could plant the spring beans instead. And add the repeaters. 
I think that would work. I think there's some cannons though, which is why I wanted to do the spikes. And instead replace these ones back here. With some other stuff. Let me go ahead and add this right here. Get rid of that one right there. That's my first complete lane. I'm hoping that's enough there to kill it in time. Oh, that was close. That was really close. I it did it did work. That's the good news. Uh, that was incredibly close though. Oh, my bad. That was my fault completely. I thought that guy was gonna he didn't land. I was prepared for him to you know, not land. I thought I was prepared for him to land and he didn't. So, my fault completely. Thought he would make it, didn't. All right, I'm not sure this is going to kill these little damn imps in time. We will see. That's This is the downside of this build. This is where you would why you'd go with Bonk Choi or some other route, but I didn't. We will see if I have to pay for my crimes. They die real quickly, don't get me wrong, but will they die quick? You know, does everything die quick enough, I should say. Oh, here's open. Here's open. We shall see. Because now i got some swinging zombies coming in. If an imp comes in at the same time, I could be in trouble. Guys died, but like I said, you gotta just be careful. That thing finally went down. Took it long enough. No, I don't want that. that. Freeze that guy real quick. Not really need to or anything, but I will do that. I like to add a spike weed underneath them as soon as I've frozen them. It's kind of a way of just making sure I do a little bit more damage to them right away. Not that I have to worry, that guy is actually gonna die to. Will this guy go ahead and die? Seriously. He's gonna die to this uh, spring bean, so that's why I'm not worried about him too much. All right, you guys go ahead and die. This would add firepower right there to those lanes. We add firepower to these lanes. We add firepower to this top lane. And at this point, I've already pretty much won. I'm gonna add this here, and I can add that there. Now I win that time! Hooray! All right, so once again, a tough challenge, but if you plant the repeaters right, they actually did fairly well. I didn't necessarily need two, but I did need two when the imps started flying in here, along with the swinging zombies, along with the uh, uh, pelicans, not pelican, but seagull zombies, there we go. So that was definitely challenging, I'm uh, not gonna lie. Unfortunately for us, we did not get a key. I was hoping there'd desperately be a key inside that Yeti zombie's little little bucket he had there's a little lunch thing but there was not so we still do not have four keys ready meaning what we're gonna be doing guys we're gonna be moving on trying to beat level nine I'm hoping I'm crossing my fingers we can get a key I mean gosh we have played how many levels now with no keys is this game serious you can understand now how long I must have grinded to get those 15 keys I got before I grinded for hours <laughs> hours I grinded to try and get those 15 keys uh, so it's not fun, and I, I understand EA wants me to buy the keys. That's what they really want me to do. They don't want me to play the game and uh, earn them. They want me to buy them, but I, I'm, I'm trying to earn them. I'm beating the game 100%. So hopefully we earn the keys in the next episode, guys, when we do level 9. If we do not, I will have to grind a little bit more off screen until I find a key somewhere somehow. But till then, guys, take it easy. Peace.